Essentially, it is the ongoing and continuous collection of health-related data in order to inform policymakers and those who have to take public health action as to what actions need to be taken in order to improve the health of a nation. Public health uh, officials will collect data either from using door-to-door -door household surveys or through um, web-based surveys. Uh, we could also take hospital records. There are registries for diseases that can be used. Now, in order for this to happen, we need to make sure that there is trust in the population and there's accountability. Otherwise, this will not happen. If we stigmatize people, or we make them more vulnerable than what they already are, then we lose the trust of the public. And we won't be able to collect the data, or at least even if we can collect it, it may not be meaningful. People will not give their data to public health officials. And that can cause a problem. Surprisingly, we don't have any tools. Uh, people use common sense, and then there are some guidelines for disease-specific activities that exist, but not for a general framework. Guidance on research ethics exists, but the guidance on research ethics is not actually applicable to public health surveillance, because in research, there's a contract between the researcher and the individual, and the individual can say no to taking part in research. During public health surveillance, they actually have no such opportunity because data must be collected from everyone. So it's important to have guidance on public health surveillance so that trust is generated between the uh, authorities and between the people. For one, it gives them a tool to, uh, to advocate for public health surveillance in their countries. It gives them a tool to obtain funding and to generate funding for public health surveillance because the guidelines say that it's an obligation for countries to do effective public health surveillance. And so there is a WHO guideline which says it must be done, therefore they must find the resources. There's also obligations for populations. So communities understand that uh, surveillance is important and they must contribute to surveillance. So I think these guidance actually address all levels of society, starting from the communities, individuals, communities, to public health officials, to governments, and then to the international government.